What is going on everybody and welcome to episode 22 of the Slayer Pure series. Really only a few episodes left until we hit level 99 and get into some Slayer goodies from all of my journeys all the way to level 99 Slayer. But as for this episode, I'm finally Alchemical Hydra ready and I will be doing the Alchemical Hydra on this alternate account if I do get assigned that task. With that being said, I will be going back to using Konar as my Slayer Master because I want to get those Brimstone keys. And since they are stackable and you can keep them in your bank, I'm going to go ahead and save every Brimstone key that I get from this entire Slayer level. And in the next video for level 96 Slayer, we're going to go ahead and throw in a couple clips of looting the chests with however many Brimstone keys I get throughout the level. So as much as I'd like to have some awesome clips and some other goodies in this video for you guys, well this was a pretty boring Slayer level. I didn't get any really good drops. I think the only thing that I really came across was five Kraken tentacles through two Kraken tasks, but other than that, it was actually pretty boring, so this is pretty much just going to be a progress update video. So as usual, let's go ahead and get into the normal swing of things and start out with my stats. So like I said, boring video for this week. In all honesty, I only got two levels throughout the past week, and that's because, well, I've already got 99 strength and 99 range, so now I'm really only waiting on 99 hit points, magic, and slayer. So, first up is going to be magic. I did get level 83 magic up from level 82 last episode, and I'm almost at 10,000 nature rune, so I will be alking soon to get some more magic levels. And obviously, as for the slayer level, level 95 now up from level 94 in the last episode. I'm so ready to get some alchemical hydras tasks. I'm already a few tasks into this level, haven't seen any yet. I don't plan on skipping for them, but I'm sure that they will come in the 800,000 experience that I have left until level 96. And from here we can go ahead and check out what kind of loot that I got from level 94 to 96. Now it wasn't all bad. I didn't get any super rare drops or anything that would really stack up super nicely, but still managed to make a decent amount of profit. Starting out up here at the top, herbs had a couple aberrant specter tasks, so those herbs did stack up. And as you guys probably should too, I take my herb sack with me almost everywhere I go. Pick up the random herbs because they do uh, stack up over time, especially those Renars. Seeds. Uh, pretty much those seeds are dropping in value very hard so I've actually haven't been picking up a lot of them except for obviously the valuable ones snapdragon torstals and renars and some other ones in there that I happen to pick up along the way eight magic seeds those were all from kraken tasks for 1.2 mil 1600 iron ore I actually had three skeletal wyvern tasks throughout this level which was good I don't really see those that often but I did get quite a few of them there as for the ores and bars and other resource supplies uh, I had four two two three four so I had some odd amount of Kraken tasks I really can't remember how many I had throughout this level these levels are getting really long but the supplies from Krakens uh, were pretty good 1020 oak planks 600 raw monkfish 650 raw sharks and over there also 590 magic logs from all those wyverns I ended up killing I also had a lot of brutal blue dragons throughout this level too so six dragon meds there and nine dragon daggers and four dragon long swords uh, rune drops as usual pretty average I get a lot of my rune drops from either necrail or gargoyle tasks moving on down the list as well I've been picking up a lot of junk really a couple adamant plate bodies some adamant plate legs I don't know why I picked those up but I just do it's money I guess and some of the red blue and black dragon hide stuff in there too as far as we can see down here at the bottom, there's those five Kraken tentacles. And the only other really, I guess, unique-ish drop I got was a leaf-bladed sword. But all in all, ended up with 25,676,297 GP, which isn't bad at all for getting just pretty much normal Slayer loot throughout the entire level. My last couple levels were... Uh, over the 30 mil mark or very close to it and those both had an abyssal dagger and a draconic visage in it which really helped boost that loot but all in all for this level I am not disappointed at all with that 25.6 mil and last but not least moving on to what my bank is looking like so currently bank value of 176.4 million GP and on the last episode I was at 164.2 so since the last video 12.2 mil profit this account is very expensive obviously because I need prayer potions and all other kinds of supplies to do my slayer tasks but I'm still making profit and I'm definitely still gonna hit 200 mil bank by 99 slayer I'm really hoping for 250 we'll see how nice the alchemical hydra is to me 
Uh, but yeah, nothing much has really changed. 39 mil in the cash deck right now, so I'm good on supplies pretty much forever because I'll just have income coming in throughout these Slayer levels as I don't need anything else to continue on to 99 Slayer. As for the runes down here, uh, runes are starting to stack up again. I did sell some off not too long ago. Already at 7,100 blood runes, and like I said earlier, I'm 51 nature runes away from 10,000, so going to take a little bit of time off there to alk all of that. And as for everything else, we got the keep till 99 tab here. Uh, 42 dark totems. Can't wait to use those. I think I'm going to dedicate a whole video to just getting Scotizo loot and hopefully the pet and the dark claw so I can get that cool purple slayer helmet on this level 86 account. And 112 ancient shards that I'm never ever going to be able to use because you need a higher attack level to use the arc light. And the rest of the tabs are just potions that need to be decanted, like always, and some junk. So yeah, guys, 176.4 mil after 95 Slayer levels. All right, guys, that is going to do it for episode 22 of the Slayer Pure series, and I apologize. I know it was boring. I know there wasn't much in this video, but not really much happened, so I didn't have much content to get for this, uh, this episode. Hopefully, I can get some good stuff for you guys with the uh, upcoming... 95 to 96 slayer but if you like this video please leave a thumbs up down below they really help the video's popularity if you haven't done so yet tap that subscribe button on your way out and if you enjoy pop culture as much as i do i did partner with loot crate and you can find a link in the description below and a code if you order any loot crates use my code you'll get 10 percent off of your order with that guys i will see you guys on the next video take it easy everybody